So we are just going to be launching Sage 2, um, and everything runs inside of a web browser. So here I'm going to be launching, uh, in this case, six instances of a Chrome browser. Um, so as you can see, uh, six browser windows have opened, um, each spanning uh, three displays wide. Um, so I only launch it here with the title bar so that you can see that it's uh, in a Chrome browser, but now I'm going to uh, make it full screen so that it's a seamless tiled display. Um, so this gives us a seamless desktop across uh, the entire wall. Um, so now uh, all of us here can pull up uh, user interfaces to interact. Um, so I'm going to open, uh, again, a Chrome browser just on my local uh, machine and um, navigate to uh, the URL um, that's in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, this provides a kind of an index page to all the um, clients that you can connect to. Um, in this case, uh, in order to have interaction with the display, I'm either interested in the Sage UI or the Sage Pointer. Um, so I will open both of those to show you what they are. Um, first, Sage UI uh, gives you a graphical uh, indication of the wall, um, as well as some interaction features. Uh, one of which is the Sage Pointer, where you can give your name uh, and pick a color. When that starts, it gives you a pointer on the wall. Um, and multiple people uh, can put their pointers on the wall simultaneously to interact with content. Uh, if you're only interested in having um, that feature um, back at the index uh, page, uh, you can also just open uh, the Sage pointer. Um, this will pop out another small window. Um, instead of taking up you know, your full screen uh, browser, uh, you can just have a small application uh, sitting there also does the same thing, um, gives you a Sage Pointer. Uh, from either uh, Sage Pointer or Sage UI, you also have the ability to share your screen. So now you can see my desktop uh, on the wall. Uh, so again, using the Sage Pointer, I can um, move that window um, anywhere on the wall. I can also resize the window. Um, and this is a live feed from my desktop. Uh, so as I change what's on my desktop, uh, you see different um, content on the wall. Um, so next, uh, anyone here can upload content to the wall. Um, so both in Sage UI and Sage Pointer, there is an area to uh, upload files. Um, so people can start uploading images. You can also use the Sage UI directly without going into the Sage Pointer to move content around. Uh, the types of images that are supported are JPEGs, PNGs, TIFF files, bitmaps, and uh, Photoshop documents. At any point, if we want to remove a window, um, you can simply press delete either, again, from the Sage UI or the Sage Pointer. Um, besides images, uh, Sage 2 also supports uh, videos, um, so any MP4 file uh, should play. OK. Um, Sage also lets you interact with apps. Um, so instead of just moving the window around, um, you can kind of switch what mode you're in. Um, there I, I switched to. Uh, actually interacting with an app now. Um, so here for vi the video player, the space bar is a play and pause. Okay. And the video remains synchronized across um, you know, all of the displays uh, as it moves, as it resizes.
Um, other than images and videos, uh, this also supports PDFs. Um, I can also load files that are already on the server by bringing up a small media browser. Uh, PDFs are rendered at uh, native resolution, um, so as I continue to scroll in, uh, the text gets um, higher and higher resolution, so it always stays clear. Again, uh, I can switch to interact with the app and use, in this case, the arrow keys to switch to new pages. Um, again, as I zoom in, uh, the text will re-render uh, to remain crisp. Uh, we also support um, native apps. So one of the apps that we have uh, uh, is a Modest Map uh, app. Um, so here this is uh, using the, the Modest Map uh, API. Um, and this gives us uh, a place to draw maps at a, uh, a, an extremely high resolution. Um, so as I zoom, or as I... Uh, make the window bigger, I actually get more and more resolution on the map. I'm not just stretching uh, the window. By default, uh, windows uh, resize in proportion. I'm maintaining their aspect ratio. However, by holding down shift, um, I get free reign, um, so I can make a really wide window or a very tall one. Um, again, I can switch to interact with the app um, to move the map around, uh, to zoom out. Sage 2 also has the ability to render uh, 3D graphics uh, with GPU acceleration. So this harnesses the power of WebGL to render uh, three-dimensional objects. Uh, one of the other apps that we've developed is a uh, multi-resolution uh, image viewer. Um, so here, this takes uh, a very high-resolution um, brain scan. Uh, and streams in the proper resolution needed to render um, so as I zoom in, I will get more and more detailed images um, on demand. Um, so we can also launch a web browser from within the web browser. Um, here we actually use um, the Chromium embedded frameworks to do some off-screen rendering. Um, so I can open up a web browser, um, and here it's just pointed at Google. As I resize the window, it resizes the actual browser window, um, allowing me to get, uh, again, extremely high resolution browser content. This is not limited by the size um, of an actual physical display. Uh, you know, I could stretch this window um, indefinitely to get a 4K, 8K, um, or whatever size window I need. Again, I can switch modes, so now that I'm interacting uh, with the web browser, um, as I click on the search part, uh, you notice the cursor goes there, and I can type in um, a query, uh, and it starts to fill out, and there I have you know, all my Google results. Um, I can scroll down the page, um, click on a link, And again, as I resize this browser window, I actually resize the content um, to get full resolution um, to the size that it's being rendered. Sage 2 also supports integration with uh, third-party apps. Um, in this example, I will use the Google Glass. OK, Glass, take a picture.
Okay, glass. Share this with Sage. So one other feature of Sage 2 is its ability to uh, enable remote collaboration. Um, so up on the top, you can see four different uh, sites, other Sage 2 sites, uh, the Cave 2, the Ice Wall, the PhD room, and the Green room. Uh, red indicates that it is currently offline, and green means that it is currently online. Um, documents can be shared between remote sites um, as long as they are both online. Um, so here I will um, give a demonstration of pushing um, both this PDF and this image uh, to the green room. Uh, so I can simply grab a document and uh, drag it so that I'm hovering over the site that I wish to share it with, um, release, uh, and it is now pushed uh, to the green room and uh, the original document snaps back to where it came from. Um, I can now do the same with uh, the image here. And if we go to the green room, we will see uh, here. 